All right, so today we're talking about the Steel MS-170. This guy right here, this is my first chainsaw, the Steel MS-170. It's an entry-level chainsaw by Steel, but from all the research I was doing, this seems like a really nice chainsaw. And I've got to use it a little bit so far, and I concur. This thing is awesome. It's plenty strong for what I need it for. It seems like it's built pretty good, and so far, other than just a few moments ago when it seemed to be bogging down, it's been running great. You can see I cut down this tree here, which I've been processing for a little bit. It was one of these stragglers, just like this guy and that one over there, that are just kind of piggybacking off of my main tree here, which is humongous. But the reason why I cut that down is I don't want it to somehow affect the main tree. I'm gonna cut these other two little guys down too, because I have some other trees on my property here that have died and it looks like they've died because of the same sort of situation with these stragglers kind of growing around it, maybe stealing nutrients, stealing water, who knows. I don't really know what I'm talking about here. All I know is I'm trying to make it not only live longer, but look better too. This tree right here is one of those dead ones that I was talking about. This tree, however, is still alive and it looks beautiful, especially from a distance. And looking down its trunk, you can see we definitely have these stragglers that are hanging off, not only blocking some of the view of this tree, but also potentially stealing nutrients from it. And that's exactly what I'm trying to fix here. You can see here there was another little one that I've already cut down and some other stuff over here. But this one, this was the biggest one. Compared to my hand here, you can hopefully see just how big this tree is. And obviously same thing looking at its trunk here. Back to the chainsaw. I live on just over nine acres. This lifestyle is relatively new to me, but one thing's for sure, although I've always wanted a chainsaw, now I have a reason. To actually have one. So I started doing some research and came across Steel, joined the Steel Facebook group, and a lot of people have this chainsaw, particularly because it's their entry level one, so the most affordable one. But darn near every single review I read was positive about this thing. Not only that, they are plentiful, parts are cheap, and it seems like they run forever as long as you take care of them, which I plan on doing. I bought this thing at my local Kubota dealership, and they were awesome there. This thing was already set up. They filled it with gas, bar and chain oil, ran it just to make sure that everything was good to go. And I was out of there in a matter of moments. It was a really simple, easy transaction. But of course the real work started after that when I had to read through that instruction manual that's more like a textbook on how to use a chainsaw. And honestly, the hardest part about this thing was learning how to start it. I wanted to learn the proper procedures because there is a chain break, which is right here. And with the chain break, you obviously have to know how to use it and know how to not mess anything up. You see, when you first start this thing up, the chain brake is supposed to be active and you're supposed to unlock it before you start pushing the throttle. Oy! I just have to process it out. And just like that, the tree has been processed. It's actually really fun and it's really rewarding to be using a chainsaw to feel the power just cutting through this thick wood that weighs so much. And it just seems like it's cutting through like butter. So yeah, uh, I am really, really stoked right now with this purchase the MS-170. I will say that I have been having a little bit of an issue getting it started each time. It'll start up and then it'll bog down and then it'll start up and bog down and I'll have to pull the string so many times. Uh-oh. Come on. 
exactly sure why that's happening it does have fuel in it um, bar and chain oil in it uh, maybe the air filters clogged this is only the second actual full day of cutting that I've done so a clogged air filter I guess is a possibility but it just seems like it'd be way too soon for that to happen unless maybe I'm completely wrong and you're supposed to check that kind of a thing after every single use there's a giant red tail hawk in the tree right up there so you can see some of this wood that I'm cutting through is pretty thick and uh, this chainsaw has absolutely no problem cutting through this stuff. I have a pile right over there with all the smaller branches and leaves and everything. But this is it for today. I'm just going to move all this wood to where it needs to be. I am incredibly stoked with the purchase of this little thing. Not only is it a good runner, but it's actually pretty lightweight. So I feel like if I had any bigger of a saw, you know, it would be pretty difficult to hold on to this thing. and work with it all day long. So this seems to be a fantastic starter chainsaw. I'm really happy this was my first one. All right, I'm gonna attempt to show you what I'm talking about with starting this thing. I just filled it with fuel, so let's try that. Of course. Of course it starts. Oh, it just died. I was gonna say, of course it starts right up right when I'm trying to attempt to show you that it's having issues starting. So I might call Kubota. Um, I know I have a warranty on this thing when you buy it brand new. And the guy at Kubota gave me a pretty good tip when I was there. He had me buy their 50 to one mix. And he said that added a whole nother year of warranty, bumper to bumper warranty on this thing. So I'm like, I gotta buy this stuff anyway. I might as well buy it here and get an extra warranty. So that was pretty cool. Thank you for that. Um, and. I might call them up and talk to them about what's going on with this. Maybe they have a tip or two, and maybe you guys could too. If you know why this thing's dying and bogging down, write down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. But let's try to start this thing up one more time. See, it wants to die. That's so strange. It's like once you get it going and start using it, it'll run like a champ, but right here in this starting process, for some reason, I'm having an issue. I know I'm sitting here telling you how awesome this thing is, and I'm so stoked that I bought this thing, but seriously, the first day I ran it, along with all the videos and reviews and everything that I saw with people who have had these things for years and years and years, basically said that this thing is awesome, and I totally agree. Once it's running, and it's like the first day I used it, it ran like an absolute champ, didn't have a a single hiccup at all. So this is the first issue that I've had with this thing so far. And it's probably something simple, like maybe the spark plug needs to be gapped correctly. Maybe the fuel filter's clogged for some reason. Maybe the air filter's clogged. I'm just gonna have to uh, call Kubota and uh, see if this is something they can help me out with. Other than that, guys, I can't think of anything more to say about this thing. The Still MS-170 steel, still, however you say it. This thing's a runner for sure.